Secret Place, Psalm 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91 verse 1. If there is such a place I want to find it, this secret place of the Most High. I want to know its longitude and its latitude. Job once lamented that he could not find it, Job. 23,3, One moment it is at Bethel that we find the gates of heaven, but like the manna of the wilderness, when we come back again it is no longer there. Is it in Bethlehem? Then we will head off with the wise man and knock at the door of the inn, but the manger is now empty. John outran Peter to the sepulcher, but they did not find him there either. Upon every place Jesus was said to ever walk, sit, or pray, some religious franchise will lease the spot, erect a chapel, and charge admission. Or some entrepreneur will set up a card or souvenir shop right in front of it. For that reason, if you find the secret place it is best to keep it secret. Job, there is such a place. Jesus talked about it. He called it a closet. It is the place large enough for only you and God. It is a place of communion and quiet, and as the hushed sea of Galilee after the Lord's rebuke, it is a place of great calm. It is the place where worries wilt, war cease, and worship is the very air you breathe. It is the place where wounds heal, and saints kneel in order to find the feet of God. The secret place is where the surrendered soul is held up to God like a living sacrifice, and the light of heaven dances in the folds, joints, and marrow of a transparent and open heart. It is where the lost Urim and Thummim may be found. It is where the daily treasure of God's will and grace for each and every day is discovered. While what goes on there is secret, the results are open and evident to all. Matthew 6 verse 6